So I'm basically in a fight with the entire world. And I'm kind of winning. I started to realize this when I was re-listening to something that Hassan Piker said a few weeks back after he realized that I shoot a gun as a hobby. Blind people should not be allowed to own weapons. Sorry. Yes, that's ableist. Yes, I don't give a f You can suck my f okay? Now this is not going to be about gun rights at all. This has nothing to do with that. Let's focus instead on the one word that he said that I had kind of glossed over the first time I heard it, and that was ableist. What is ableism? The dictionary says it is discrimination in favor of able-bodied people. But worse than that is it's reducing a person to their least favorable or positive quality. You're dismissing anything and everything they could possibly do and just focusing on the disability. Now, when I first responded to Hassan's commentary on me, I was laughing about it because I, I was just like, how could this guy possibly think that I'd be shooting my gun in public or using it at home for home defense? I mean, what a crazy idea. But the more I thought about his self-proclaimed ableism, the more I started to realize that he thought I'd do something stupid like that because I'm blind. And blind people to him, are stupid. To him, blind people must be stupid, irresponsible, incapable of making intelligent decisions like he could make because we are challenged visually and apparently mentally. That's what his ableist mindset is causing him to think. Now, do I care that Hassan Piker thinks that I'd be an irresponsible gun owner? No, I really don't. Again, that's why I was laughing about it the first time. But let's take his mindset out of the realm of social media commentary and put it into the real world. I'm a person applying for a job. I went to college, I come from a good background, I have good references, everything looks great on paper, but I happen to be blind. Hassan Piker and others would just completely disregard the resume and look at the fact that the candidate was blind and be like, well, he's obviously incapable, let's not hire him. This is the fight that I'm in right now. That mindset is the reason that I hid my blindness for like most of my life. I hid it from girls when I was on the dating scene for as long as I could. I didn't want to tell them right away that I was blind because I didn't want them reducing me to just that one word. I hid it from employers for as long as I could doing things like faking eye contact, pretending that I could read a menu and we went to a restaurant together for an interview. Bunch of things like that that I had to do because I didn't want to be reduced to that one word that apparently has so much negative connotation. As recently as maybe four years ago, my agents for voice acting were telling me, don't tell your clients that you're blind. They were afraid that they'd hear about the disability and think that somehow I wouldn't be able to do my job. And that's basically the reason I started doing this channel. At this point, I have about 700 million video views on my YouTube videos, plus the rest of social media that I post on. Now I'm hoping that the people that have seen those 700 million plus videos have a different thought process when they hear the word blind now. Instead of thinking like Hassan does, blind must equal stupid, incapable, bad decision maker. I'm hoping the people that have seen these videos think, oh, I've seen that blind guy online. He surfs and skateboards, he's a voice actor, he takes on tons of challenges and overcomes all sorts of problems in his life. Most blind people are actually very capable and intelligent people. I mean, can you imagine operating this complicated piece of machinery that is the human body with only four of your five senses working? It takes a lot of brain power. Ray Charles, blind, very talented musician. Steve Wynn, do you know the name? You might have gambled in one of his casinos. Until 2018, he was the CEO of the company bearing his name, and he was losing his eyesight due to RP throughout his entire empire building process. Good friends of mine, Anthony Ferraro, Dan Mancina, guys that are online showing that despite the fact that they're blind, they overcome challenges daily. But the ableist mindset isn't anything new. FDR, 32nd president of the United States, hid the fact that he'd been confined to a wheelchair from the American public for his entire life because he didn't want them to think of him as weak. Now, I understand human nature. I'm not blind to it. I know that people are always going to make snap judgments when they meet someone. But if you don't want to look like a fool online or miss out on the next potentially great hire or bypass someone that could potentially be a really great partner for you, don't judge them on their disability based on the fact that you think you wouldn't be able to function with that disability. And you know what? Maybe don't be a hypocrite. Maybe don't rant and rave about the fact that you don't like it, that people will judge you on the ethnic origin of your name, but then go ahead and judge me based on a disability that you clearly don't understand. Even for me, like, I, I benefit tremendously from being white passing as shit. I wonder I why like people don't have that same kind of reaction. I wonder why people's reaction changes when they find out my name is Hassan. It's hard for you to comprehend because you know what the f my name is, you know what my background is. I'm, a, I'm in a, you know, position of prominence, public figure, so it's a little different, but like, I wasn't my entire fucking life. Anyway, like I said, this is a fight that I'm waging every day against the whole world, and I feel like I'm winning every time someone watches one of my videos, but there's obviously a long way to go.